Hey, welcome back everybody. Chuck here with American Travel Fun. Today we're gonna check out Tory Turtles at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. And what is this, you ask? This would be the best way to see turtles released back into the ocean. I mean, it's great. Tory Turtles is a seriously great research project. This is where they release back into the wild, back into the ocean actually, turtles. Sea turtles, giant sea turtles, and little baby hatchlings that happen to pop up here and there because that's where they nest. Once a year, they have torty turtles for whatever turtles they've collected throughout the year that have been injured, ill, from either predators or human activity. Disney scientists go ahead and take this turtle and they nurse it back to health and they release it once a year at torty turtles at Disney's Vero Beach. It happens every year about this time, about July 20-something, you know, between July 20-something and August 1st. And Disney scientists are using satellite technology to track the turtles on their journey for the nesting beaches, which is Vero Beach itself, which is why you will find little baby turtles get into the ocean, to their feeding grounds. Now, why is this important, you ask? Well, the data collected helps researchers make better decisions about how to protect these creatures. It's like giving the sea turtles their own support team. And Disney does seem to be committed to sea turtle conservation. And to prove it, this has been going on for 21 years at Vero Beach. The last 17 years have they actually been doing toward the turtles. And as of last year, they celebrated their one and a half millionth sea turtle hatchling on their beach. That's a lot of little tiny turtles making their way back to the big blue ocean. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Okay, that's enough. But the fun doesn't stop there. If you happen to be staying at the Disney Vero Beach Resort between say, May and October, you might get a chance to join the conservation team on their nightly surveys. And these beaches are among some of the most important turtle nesting habitats in the Western Hemisphere. They're visited by three species of threatened or endangered sea turtles, loggerhead, greens, and leatherbacks. And if you happen to be a morning person and you get out on the beach, take a nice little walk, you might have a chance to see some little baby turtle hatchlings come out of the sand and make their way down to the ocean. And over the years, Disney has contributed over 4.3 million to sea turtle conservation efforts around the world through their Disney Conservation Fund. Now I want to hand it over to the professionals to give you some more details. See you on the other side. And about 90% of a sea turtle's life is spent out there in the ocean. We got to learn about it. So the whole purpose of this event is to celebrate their migration and really get involved in sea turtles. So not only have we been working on this five mile stretch of beach for over 20 years at this point, putting in literally thousands of hours of work, documenting almost 2 million sea turtle hatchlings coming up out of this beach, going into the water. Every single year, we're here every single day from March through October to keep our beaches healthy and to keep track of the sea turtles and see how they're doing. Sea turtles are very long-lived animals. In fact, they can't even lay eggs until they're in their 30s. And so all of this work that we've been doing, we've been doing work out here for 21 years at this point. We're still waiting for the grown-ups from those first hatchlings that came back to lay eggs on these beaches. It takes decades of work, but we're already starting to see a difference. We're seeing the populations of some of these uh, sea turtles start to rebound, and that's so heartening, and we know that we need to keep it up. And it really is an effort that takes so many people working together to start to see the types of results that we've seen. Leading up to Torta Turtles, it takes hundreds if not thousands of hours by dozens and dozens of people coordinating all aspects of this event to marry conservation and science with the most incredible guest experience. I really can't wait to see what we pull off. We're looking to see how we can do right by nature. That could be through supporting local organizations with the Disney Conservation Fund. That could be working with our partners in China to help design Wishing Star Park, this incredible restored wetland and park where hundreds of uh, birds have returned to this area. And it means here at Disney Vero Beach Resort, walking the beaches, documenting 1.8 million hatchlings that have come out of these beaches and making sure we're doing the best possible job to protect wildlife wherever we are. Our guests can do many things to protect sea turtles in the ocean. One of those really important things is reducing the use of plastics and keeping them out of the water. Things like plastic bags and plastic straws, when they go into the water, the sea turtles can eat them or become entangled in them and it can be very dangerous. So keeping those things out of the water can help keep our sea turtles safe. As a veterinarian who works with sea turtles, 
Today's Tour de Trail event is so inspiring, not only for me, but for our guests. They get the opportunity to see these animals up close. They get to learn about the species and about conservation efforts surrounding turtles. And we hope that it inspires them to care for these animals and protect the oceans. And if you guys do want to keep up with Tour de Turtles, you can go to tourdeturtles.org. They have some basic information. You can track turtles, see where they are, what's happened to them, why they were taken in, why they were released, when, where, that sort of thing. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Particularly if you guys have ever seen this before, or would you like to see this? Is this something that would make you go to Vero Beach to see? Um, or is it just, if you happen to be there, you would stop in? Or is it something, would you completely ignore this all together? Because it, it, it's a turtle, you don't care. I mean, I would. I, I think it'd be kind of cool. Because, I mean, how many times do you get to see this in a lifetime? That being said, other people, yeah, they're going on to Disney World. And I don't blame them. Until next time, have fun, guys.